for my family and I during this time, it has not gone unnoticed. Uh, we absolutely love you and um, everything. Oh, the grandchild. Um, we just want Goku to know that we love him so much. Wonderful, wonderful husband to my mom-in-law. Thank you, mom. And I want you to know that we stand with you in Australia together with her family. Um, hi, everyone. Thank you so much for honoring my father today and, and, and for attending all protocols observed. The last time I stood on this stage, it was to celebrate my dad um, and all the victories he had accomplished. Yeah. And I am so eternally grateful that we got to celebrate him while he was alive, that he got to see how loved he was, that he got to hear the words we're saying to him um, out of joy and, and truth. And today, as we've heard, it is also a celebration of life. And although we say goodbye to a great man, we know he lived a full life. And speaking as his children, on behalf of, of all three of us, uh, but me and my sister, because my brother will also talk, he loved us fiercely. He loved us fiercely, and it is because of that love that we ended up with people who also love us just as fiercely. I would like to thank my husband for being a complete rock for my family and I during this time. It has not gone unnoticed. Uh, we absolutely love you and um, everything I had become, I am becoming and will become into the future is a direct result of the impact my father had on my life. Mom, we got you. I promise. And also to all the JCC pastors in Parklands and across the globe, thank you so much for standing with my family and I. We're eternally grateful and for Auntie Mom as well, especially, and everyone here. Thank you so much. And Nia wants to say a quick thing. Nia will say something, then Robert will say something as well. Hi, everybody. Hi. Um, my Guka used to teach me golf out on the front porch, and I loved it a lot. On behalf of all of the grandchild, all of the grandchild, um, we just want Goku to know that we love him so much. Thank you, thank you, Nia. Thank you, Dad, for showing me fate. <sighs> and showing me the vision of where we are headed as JCC family and as the Kiuna family. We won't let you down. Your legacy will be carried forward. I thank you for being the best dad to my wife and to her siblings, to be the best grandfather to my daughter and to her cousins, and to be a wonderful, wonderful husband to my mom-in-law. We really appreciate you. We stand with you. I stand with my wife as well and with Jeremy and Stephanie. This is a tough moment for all of us. I'm there for you, and I will be that pillar. If you need a shoulder, I'm there. Thank you, and thank you, Dad. Thanks for everything. Thank you so much, Robert Kovac, Vanessa Kovac, and Nia Kovac. Now over to Jeremy Kuna. Buona sifiwe. Amen. Buona sifiwe. Amen. I think that's my trademark, you know? Like when I start, I'll just be doing that. That's a good trademark. Um, so I want to take some time and, um, and remind us of the, the word of the year. The word of the year that my dad said is fruitfulness. So if you have a Bible, I would like for you to go to the, the scripture, Genesis 1.28, and I'd like to read it. It says... Then God blessed them and said, be fruitful and multiply. And then I'd like to go straight to 29 and say, then God said, look, for I have given you every seed bearing plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food. I want us to remember that in, on Sunday, God said that this is an expensive fruit that we have sold. The, the work is still to be completed. 
and I know that God will be fruitful in this year. I want us to know that my father didn't just leave a legacy, but he left an amazing, amazing job for us to complete. So um, I want us to remember that the goal is to always, always glorify God and produce fruit. And God, I come to you and I say, Lord, as we've given you this expensive fruit, let his vision be the, this expensive seed, let his vision be the fruit that we provide. <sighs> and to my father, I love you, I love you, I love you. And uh, we'll make you proud, we'll complete the job. Thank you, Mom Teresia, my girlfriend. I love you, I love you more than anyone. <laughs> I love you, I love you so much. Thank you, Mom. And I want you to know that we stand with you and we are here for you. I love you. Bye. God bless you, Jeremy Kuna. Him and our senior mom call each other boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, Jeremy just graduated from the university the other day and he's beginning his master's degree. Um, and his father was so proud of him. I remember recently when he walked into the room uh, from abroad, he had this special gift for his father, the degree that he had just acquired. And he told his father, I did this for you. And Bishop said something that made me emotional. He said, I am so proud of you, I could never be prouder of you. And he added that even if you did not graduate, I would still be proud of you. What a father we had in our bishop. Now, because of time, the next speakers will take a very short time, the shortest possible, like a minute. On behalf of the church family, we will have Pastor Maurice Gashero, and he will be followed by uh, a representative of the Femme Brothers, Pastor George Madhu. So as Pastor Maurice Gashero, my wonderful brother, the pastor of JCC, Thika Road comes over, uh, let us kindly have Pastor George Madhu getting ready in Jesus' name. Let's clap for my brother. Thank you so much, Pastor Andrew. All protocols observed. During these last days, I had the opportunity to spend time with my father in the faith and with my mom, Reverend Kathy Kuna. And I learned a new definition of honor, devotion, and commitment. Our senior mom, I've been observing you and seeing how much you loved your son and how much committed you are to him. And to my mom, to the very last second, because I was in your presence when our dad, uh, you know, departed and went to be with the Lord. And I saw how you loved him. And I want to tell you again and again that our level of honor, respect, and love for you has gone to another level. 